What's going on YouTube? It's Andy the Parrothead Picker coming at you guys today with a little eBay Poshmark sales update video. Uh, today I'm going to take a share probably about 25-30 items that I sold over on uh, eBay and the Poshmark platform uh, in the last probably 10 days. It would be uh, November 26th probably through December 5th. Um, anyway, I just kind of handpicked a few of the uh, more unique items to take and share with you guys. Uh, those are, for those of you guys who are new to my channel, I'm a part-time uh, eBay, Poshmark, Amazon. Uh, I sell pretty much anywhere where I can uh, make a buck or two. Um, but yeah, uh, if you guys have any questions or comments for me, please feel free to leave them in the comment section below. I'm always happy to answer those questions for everybody. Let's go ahead and jump into it. That's what y'all came here for. Okay, uh, first uh, we got this vintage 90s Garfield the Cat hockey jersey. Um, I picked this up at a mom and pop uh, charity thrift shop here locally. Um, I think I paid two dollars for this. It sold for thirty nine oh three. Um, just a really cool, unique item. Um, it had a lot going on for it. You know, just big graphics, patches, everything. You know, who doesn't like Garfield the cat, right? Um, and this sold in just a couple days of me listing it. Um, I featured this on my Instagram. If you guys aren't following me on Instagram, uh, please feel free to do so. Um, I'll put my little thing down below here. It's uh, Parrothead underscore Picker. Um, yeah, and uh, I'd love to hear from you guys. So, um, yeah, I share all kinds of stuff over there, um, not just reselling stuff, but uh, they're just a little bit of everything. And some of the stuff I do post there uh, is some of my sales, some of my finds, uh, things that just don't make it into these videos. So, um, anyway, let's go ahead and move on to the next one. Uh, this here's a Telemania, just a 57 Chevy uh, telephone, um, one of them push-button type telephones, really cool. Uh, I picked this up uh, at a garage sale here this summer. Um, I'm sure this is probably going to be a gift for somebody, but uh, this sold for $44.60. Um, and I think I, I bought this and I bought two other 57 Chevy uh, collectibles uh, from an individual. Um, they were they actually had a 57 Chevy, so I think they were just thinning out some of their stuff. Um, but, uh, yeah, this was just, like I said, a really neat item. And I can't remember off the top of my head what I paid for it. I know I was into it for under $10 because um, I did bundle a uh, bunch of stuff together. But, uh, yeah, I just thought it was a really unique uh, piece. It actually had, like, metallic paint on it and everything. So it was a really, really nice uh, item there. Um, these here are probably one of my favorite pairs of jeans to sell that I can actually find uh, pretty fre frequently. Um, these are uh, Ariats. Um, these actually sold, I believe, the day that I listed them. Uh, these are, I think these are the cliffhangers. Yeah, just a low-rise boot-cut jean. Um, yeah, I uh, love finding area jeans. Uh, so the, I don't know if I have a good picture of the... No, I really didn't even put a whole lot of photos up here for the jeans. I've been doing jeans a little differently. I don't sell a lot of jeans, uh, but whenever I do find them or run across uh, certain ones, I will pick them up. But yeah, a nice pair of jeans there. Uh, this here's a Build-A-Bear plush. I don't do a lot of plush. Uh, I think I got two of them, though, that are going to be in this uh, video here. Um, and I'm going to hopefully get around to doing a catch-up video uh, one of these days. Uh, I got some other unique ones, uh, unique uh, plush items in there. Um, I know a lot of people sell plush. I only pick up a few things, but I thought this one here was pretty unique. I got this for a dollar at, uh, I believe, my local Goodwill. I, I thought it was pretty neat because it had, uh, like, the fishing, it had, like, a fishing outfit. It came with a fishing pole. Um, with some fish attached to it, but this is a little bunky. But, uh, yeah, this is just, you know, like I said, just one of those little Build-A-Bear uh, workshop. He was, I think he's retired. I think this was retired also. But, you know, there's a little tag. He did have a little spot on the back, but uh, that didn't stop him from buying this. And, like I said, I got twenty three ninety one free shipping. He uh, made it. He's still light enough to go first class, so nice little return on investment there. Uh, this here is a Duluth Trading. Um, this is the Burley uh, weight flannel, so it's a super heavy, uh, like flannel work type of shirt. Um, I actually picked this up thinking it might fit me, but this is actually even bigger than I would uh, be able to pull off. So um, Duluth stuff typically runs a little bit on the larger side size, um, but uh, yeah, this went for uh, $29.74 plus the buyer paid shipping on top, and this sold in just a couple days of me listing it. So really nice. Uh, you know, like I said, just a nice, real heavyweight uh, flannel. This here's the vintage uh, Chicago Bears, just corduroy hat. Uh, I got $27.91 out of that, free shipping, nothing crazy. Um, it wasn't in the best shape or condition. Um, and I did try to clean it up a little bit, but uh, this one here, it, it needed a little bit of love. And I, I did get it fairly decent, but, uh, you know, I mean, I, I kind of tried to reshape it. You can tell, I mean, it's got a nice shape to it and what have you, but... Uh, I, I think I might have been able to squeeze a little bit more. If it had the different script on it, it would have definitely been probably closer to a $50 hat. 
uh, at least a you know um, the script uh, like I said the text there if it would have been more of like a script instead of like the block type of letter um, it would have went for a little bit more in the corduroy uh, yeah here's another uh, plush this here's a Scentsy um, for like you guys uh, familiar with the Scentsy candle warmers I just happened to see this little plush uh, at my local Goodwill um, I think he was 50 cents so uh, I scooped this one up and this sold I think in less than a week um, and this actually even had the little scent pack um, which I didn't know that these little teddy bears actually came with those I don't know if I have a picture of that or not no I didn't but uh, yeah in the back uh, they open up and they have like different little scent packs uh, that you can uh, add to these little teddy bears they're good for like kids or whatever but uh, yeah he went for 15 bucks so not a not a home run by any means but uh, it was a real quick sale so here's L.L. Bean, just uh, one of them fleece-lined, uh, you know, heavy flannel shirts. I've been selling a lot of flannel here lately. If you watched my last sales update video, probably my last two, I've had quite a few jackets, uh, coats, flannels, um, the quilted flannels, all that. That stuff is just really, really moving right now this time of year. Um, this one here, like I said, L.L. Bean. You can't, I don't leave too much L.L. Bean stuff, um, especially in this type of uh, what have you, but... Uh, and this was a win. This is women's. This is large. This one for thirty-one eleven plus eight bucks shipping. Um, these here were a lot of uh, handyman club of America patches. Um, I've got two different lots up besides this one. This one here, there was three of them. Uh, I have another lot up that features two um, of these patches, and I think there's a third additional uh, lot up. So if you guys are interested in something like those. Uh, feel free to check out my store, and I got yeah, I got a couple different um, ones up, but uh, I think these here went for around fifteen or sixteen bucks. Uh, I don't think I got eighteen oh nine. I think I took maybe fifteen dollars for these. I got these actually at an estate sale. I don't do many estate sales. My wife loves estate sales. Uh, it's really hard to buy from estate sales here uh, where I live, but uh, we went on like uh, the last day of the sale. So these here, they were practically giving these patches away. So I scooped up all these. Uh, um, handyman Club of America patches and uh, these here sold uh, pretty quick and they you know they're super lightweight so the ship first class this here's just a regular Under Armour uh, Notre Dame Fighting Irish quarters up pullover this one here uh, sold for $34.99 plus buyer paid shipping so nice little sale there uh, this is just a little Disney um, karaoke from Frozen uh, I think I paid 99 cents for this I believe I got this at Goodwill sold for $12.06 uh, all these little Disney karaoke uh, CDs, actually a lot of the karaoke CDs, if you can find uh, new sealed ones or even um, can get a bunch of uh, loose ones, um, they typically will do good. You can bundle them all together. People like the karaoke CDs. Um, let's see. Okay, this here's, uh, this here's a unique little item. Uh, this here's what they call a sip and smoke. Um, I believe this actually is supposed to come with like a coffee cup or a mug or something. Uh, but it's just basically like an ashtray, um, coffee cup type holder. Um, this sold for $15.81 plus a buyer paid uh, shipping. So this was heavy enough. Uh, I wasn't able to go first class, so they did pay priority shipping on this. So this sold for just a little over $20. Um, it's just basically like a little, like I said, like a little ashtray, um, little ceramic ashtray or whatever. Um, it did have a little, I think it had a little bit of light cracking in it uh, from the Smoky Mountains. Yeah, nice little sale there. Just different unique item. Uh, these here, another pair of Nike Air Maxes. I love selling Air Maxes. Um, they sell super fast for me. Uh, these here went for $46.38 plus bar paid shipping on top. So nice sale there. And I was into these for less than five bucks. Uh, Harley. Um, yeah, here's another one. Uh, another one of my Harley shirt sales. Um, I got $22.89 uh, for this Harley shirt. Um, you know, if you guys. Any of you guys who follow me for any length of time, you guys hear me talk about uh, how I source Harley shirts, um, the ones that I typically pick up. Um, actually, and this was one I must have got super cheap, but uh, it did have like the train and the castle. This was from Richard, Richmond, Virginia, um, but, uh, you know, it's colored. I believe this is a 2X as well. Yeah, this is a 2X, so a really nice shirt. Uh, like I said, I got twenty two eighty nine, which is the extreme high end uh, for a Harley for just a basic Harley T-shirt. But uh, pretty much, you know, like I said, I I know how to source Harley tees, um, and I can usually get some pretty decent money out of them. Uh, this is just a regular golf puzzle. I think I paid a dollar ninety nine for this uh, at my local Goodwill or a mom. I got this at a mom and pop charity thrift, so I paid uh, like ninety nine cents for this. Um, this sold 
Then about a week or two of me listings was just a bunch of golf balls, golf tees. I'm sure this was a gift. This went for $27.99. There's another L.L. Bean uh, fleece line flannel shirt. This went for $30.79 plus the buyer paid shipping on top. And I think this had an issue. Yeah, it had a real tiny little hole. Uh, I figured I better disclose that. Um, this was on the back of the shirt, I believe. Yep, on the back of the shirt. So this is kind of how I do things, guys. Um, you know, I just use like a little dime for reference. Um, I did put this into a photo editor, and I just had the little arrow, and then kind of zoomed in on it so you guys can see, uh, you know, size relationship or whatever. But I uh, always want to disclose uh, damages. But it was still, you know, small enough that I knew I was still going to be able to get some pretty good money out of this. Um, this here's the Air Hogs. Um, I got the, man, I've had this for a little while. Um, but yeah, this uh, went for $39.23, and it looks like I had free shipping on that. So um, I'm kind of surprised because that is an item that uh, definitely went priority. Um, but yeah, uh, and I think I was into that for somewhere between like 3 and $5. So it was just with them like remote control, air hogs, helicopters, or whatever. So a nice little item there. I'm sure this would be a nice little Christmas gift for somebody. Um, I just picked these up here probably about a week or so ago. Uh, this here's Castle. Actually, I got these uh, Thanksgiving, uh, or the day after Thanksgiving. Uh, this is Castle. It's just a uh, D New Seal DVD set. I think there were six of them in there, just kind of how I did it. I just, you know, made my listing stand out uh, from some of the others. Uh, I got 58.79 out of these. I think I was into these for around a couple dollars a piece. So nice little return there, and the buyer did pay shipping on top of that. So they paid about 60 bucks for these DVDs. I love the uh, New Seal DVD box sets. They're really hard for me to get locally um, for a good price, but uh, I, I did actually luck out on this one. Uh, this here's an old vintage Star Wars puzzle. This was a garage sale pickup. Um, I think I paid a dollar for this. Um, yeah, this is from... Gosh, it looks like, I think like mid-90s maybe. Um, but, you know, the classic, you know, Luke and Leia, Leia scene. Uh, and it's not even like a big puzzle, like maybe a 100-piece. Yeah, 100-piece puzzle. Um, really nice. This went for twenty-eight thirty-seven free shipping. So nice little sale there. Um, you kind of get the idea with, uh, the, you know, the, the, the over this uh, 10 days here or whatever. A lot of, a lot of gifts in here. Uh, this here's a nice pair of women's Clarks. I don't pick up a lot of Clarks, but these here were like brand new. Um, actually, I think they list. Yeah, they were new because um, I think they have the little tabs. On, yeah, they still even have the little tabs on the bottom. So these are brand new Clarks, just new without box. It went for thirty three seventy four plus fire paid shipping on top. So uh, nice little sale there. Nothing crazy, um, and I think I was probably into those shoes. I can't remember if they were a garage sale pickup or a Goodwill pickup. Probably a garage sale pickup. And I was, so I was probably into them for under five dollars. Uh, this here. Um, set of Ruger knives. Um, I actually sold two of these. This was a uh, multi-quantity deal. This was a retail arbitrage um, item. I picked these up uh, at a local store. Um, I believe I got these for seven dollars a piece, um, and they sold uh, for what thirty? I think yeah, I think uh, thirty-one, thirty-five per knife. Um, so yeah, really nice uh, set of just Ruger knives. Um, has has a little Ruger logo on there and stuff like that. Really nice. Uh, I think these what the Cricket Cricket brand. Yeah, just you know, just a nice knife. Um, really wasn't sure how to take and display them, but uh, you know, I ended up you know trying to do my uh, my magic with with some photography and stuff like that on there as well. And I wanted it to stand out uh, from some of the other ones. So, uh, but anyway, yeah, the person that bought these got a really good deal because I think I had a ten percent uh, multi quantity discount as well if they would have bought. An additional knife, so they got a great deal on these. All right, let's go over to my Poshmark store, and I'll show you a couple of the items I sold over Poshmark uh, in the past few, in the past few days here. Up first here, over on my Poshmark, um, this here was just a regular guest women hard kind of case uh, sunglass holder. On Poshmark, these things sell really, really well for me. Um, I do pick these up. Usually I'll find them in free bins for a quarter or whatever. Um, you know, I try to get the nice designer brands: Ralph Lauren, Burberry. Uh, Gas, uh, Oakley, um, Maui Jim. Um, God, well, there's a couple other ones that uh, I will typically pick up. Ray Ban, you can find Ray Ban cases. Uh, people, man, they, they do tend to buy these over here. Um, so, anyway, uh, this one here is actually one of the lesser um, dollar amount sales that I've had on these, but uh, you know, I'll take it. 
Uh, this here is just regular Columbia PFG, brand new with tags. This here was a retail arbitrage item. Uh, got a little farm store here locally. Um, had a whole bunch of these for sale. Um, so they were clearance them out. I think I paid like $2.99 uh, for a bunch of these Columbia PFG hats and I uh, scooped them up. So, uh, yeah, I had, uh, this one sold for 20 bucks. So, nice little uh, return there. Okay, this here is a uh, Reebok Chicago Blackhawks Center Ice uh, polo shirt. Well, I'm just dry fit uh, polo shirts. But this here is the Center Ice Edition. Um, I'll show you here on the inside tag. This is what the inside tag kind of looks like. It'll say Center Ice on the inside. These here are a little bit more desirable. Um, do uh, demand a little bit more money um, than some of the other ones. But, uh, yeah, just a lot of nice embroidery um, and detail going on here with this shirt. Uh, like I said, this one sold for 22 bucks, and I think it was into this shirt for $2.99. And last but not least, over here on Posh, uh, sold this uh, really, really cool uh, Masters uh, belt. I don't pick up a lot of belts, but this one here was a little more unique. Um, this jumped out at me right away. I think I paid a dollar or a dollar ninety nine for this. Um, I found this at my local Goodwill. Um, you know, anytime you see the Masters logo on stuff, you definitely want to check it out, pick it up. Uh, that stuff always sells. But uh, yeah, just a really nice, uh, just real nice belt. And this was like a thirty four, so nothing crazy. A lot of detail in it too. You can see the Masters logo there um, uh, in the in the belt. So yeah, um, yeah, forty bucks, a nice little return on investment there. Okay, guys, so that was probably about 25, 30 sales uh, that I had between the two platforms uh, between, like I said, uh, the 26th of November to the 5th of December. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, maybe there was something in here uh, that you picked up. Uh, you guys can keep an eye out for some of these things. But uh, anyway, like I said, if you have any questions or comments for me, please feel free to leave them in the comment section below. Always happy to hear from them. Uh, I have links, uh, Amazon affiliate links down below as well um, for some of the items. Uh, actually, for a lot of the items that I use uh, as far as photography, bags, boxes, all that sort of stuff. So uh, if you guys want to click on those, it's not necessary, but it does help out the channel. Uh, but anyway, guys, that's going to do it. That's my time. Thanks for watching, everybody. And as always, fins up. Bye-bye, everybody.